Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to play the game Koob by yourself. For setting up the game, you're going to need a few different things. First, you'll need nine different items that you can stand up on their own that you can use for your Koobs and your King. You can use anything from water bottles, plastic cups, or even stuffed animals for these. Next, you'll need three objects that you can throw, such as a ball, rolled up sock, or stuffed animal. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll just pretend that the player is using a ball. Finally, we need to set up the field. Traditionally, there are four meters between the attack line, midline, and baseline, but since we're playing on our own, you can adjust the distance as you see fit, so long as there's even space between each line. Now that we're set up, let's play. The object of the game is to knock down all of the cubes behind the baseline using the balls, then ultimately knock down the king. If, however, you knock down the king before getting all the cubes, you automatically lose, so we don't want to do that. First, the player will start by tossing each ball underhand in an attempt to knock down as many cubes as possible. On the first one, they're successful. On the second toss, they miss. And on the third one, they are successful as well. Now that the first turn is over, we're going to move the cubes that were knocked down off to the side and then collect the three balls. Once everything has been reset, we need to now take a look at the spare cube rules off to the side. You'll notice several situations that we'll cover in a bit, but because on this turn the player was successful with two hits, nothing special is going to happen before our next round. Now, let's begin the player's next turn. On their first toss, they're successful. Second toss, they miss. And unfortunately, on the third toss, they miss as well. So what we need to do now when we reset, we'll go collect those three balls and we'll move the one that was knocked over, over to the spare cubes. But remember, before we begin this next round, we need to take a look off to the side at the spare cube rules. Because one of those cubes was hit, well, now we need to add one cube additionally, which we'll see right now. So we take one cube from the spare cube area and the player needs to toss it somewhere out into the field, the area between the baseline and the midline. Now it's the player's turn again. But since this is a new situation, we need to make sure to attack the field cubes before we go to the baseline. If we accidentally knock down a baseline one before getting all the field cubes, it does not count. So on the player's first toss, they successfully knock down a field cube. Second one, they are successful as well, now that we can attack the baseline again. And the third one, unfortunately, they miss, but when we take a look at the side, since we had two hits, nothing's really going to happen. We're just going to move the cubes off to the side, collect the balls, and then begin our next round. On this round, we have a successful hit, and now, since finally all of the baseline cubes have been knocked down, we may attack the king, and if we do so, we are victorious. Now let's start a new game and take a look at a few of the situations we haven't quite addressed yet. On this turn, you'll notice the player missed, unfortunately, with every single toss. So when we look off to the side for the spare cube rules, what's going to happen is we're actually going to add two cubes. It also says reset the attack line, but we'll worry about that in just a minute. So. We take two from the spare area, toss them out, and then remember, we need to attack those first on this turn. So on this turn, we hit with the first, second, and what do you know, we knock down with the third as well. Now, since we have three hits, there's gonna be a few things that are gonna happen. First of all, the cubes that were knocked over are gonna move to the spare cube area. We're gonna collect the balls, but what we get to do now as well is we get to actually advance the attacking line. And you can do that as simply as just taking one step forward. So now we'll begin our next turn. Unfortunately, as you notice, this player misses with all three. So now, once again, a few things are going to happen. We are going to collect, you'll see from zero hits, we're going to collect two cubes from the side. But now it does apply where we need to reset the attack line since we miss with every single one. So you'll notice that once everything is collected, the attack line will shift back as well. 
Now let's cover one final situation. It appears that in this game, the player unfortunately has been missing a lot. There are no spare cubes left off to the side. And on their turn, unfortunately, they miss with every single one. If this happens where you would need to add some spare cubes, but you do not have any, well, unfortunately, you will lose the game and you'll need to start over. Well, that is how you play cubes solo. I hope you enjoyed learning how to play and I hope you have even more fun playing by yourself.